Hello, everybody. So I am back again to bring chapter 32 of Cassia's story to you. So if you did not see the last video, I named all of my beasts. And I brought my... Um, Hippogriffs into this enclosure here. I named all my animals. And I have another uh, vivari vivarium that I am going to show you guys. So that is going to be. I have my swamp area, which is going to have my toads and my festrals, which reminds me, I do want to see how the baby is doing. So the baby will be here in 17 minutes, so that's going to be awesome. There's the pub over there. Feastius. live stream today for you guys but um unfortunately my son is sick but my father's here to assist um so i thought i'd get on here and make a video for you guys just so you had something to watch just in case i don't record for a bunch of days so you'll have a whole thing lined up for you guys I need to crush these. How are you doing? You're doing great. Okay. And then let me go ahead and show you guys my other enclosure, which is the one that's near the sea. So I moved my hippogriffs from there. Originally in here. And when I moved here, so I haven't moved anything in here yet. But because there's grab horns in this game, I'm thinking that this is where I'm gonna have the grab horns. Um, I may end up moving the hippogriffs back here. I'm just not sure yet. Because I'm thinking about doing some breeding with the unicorns. But, like I said, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and attend Beast class. Now that I've gotten done showing you guys that. So, let's go here. Find class along. So, let's attend... Um, beasts class. Sorry, we're gonna go attend a beast class, not flying class. So, in also the last video, or no, the video before that, <clears throat> we actually um, did the second trial. So, there's a lot of preparations that have to come out underway for the third one. And I'm been thinking that it may have something to do with the headmaster, Nig Nigelus Black. So it's going to be a little bit interesting to see what happens in the third challenge because the portrait stated that they needed to speak with um, Lima, I believe is her name. 
um, they had to speak with the headmaster. So it sounds like that's what's gonna have to happen. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this one. I also forgot to put my uh, time on. Because <laughs> I found that putting me on a time clock actually is a lot easier because then I don't have to keep an, uh, keep opening my desktop so much. So it, it's a little bit easier on the, on the test, on the um, editing for me to have a timer. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Hey, Nettie. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Yes. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. All right, so nice and steady happens. wand movements. <laughs> Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the... You want me to explode pumpkins? <clears throat> Which pumpkins? Can I just bombard this? Oh! Nah. Uh... Bombard! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Nice. All right. Now. I wonder if I will be able to get a measle. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. The Pinch Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. Akio. the way to do it. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Akio. Oh, that didn't happen. Akio. You didn't see that. Uh, well, I'm definitely not going to beat you. I don't know how to do it. I'm so good at this game. I'm actually not. Damn! <laughs> no! Well, I was also a failure. 
that's the way to do it. Dang it. Seems I got the better of you. Yes, you did. Seems you couldn't get the upper hand that time. How about another round? Uh, sure. Let's have that. Then take your mark. Try one more time. You didn't see that. You still got 50 points. You can be ashamed of. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Aha, I did. What a remarkable shot. That's the way to do it. I've been bested. Okay. Well done! Diving, summoner's court, seems there's nothing you can't do. I mean, uh, I do need one, one chance. You played a good game though, Grace. <laughs> I did play rather well, didn't I? You Only did. one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Nadi? I do wish you would take your turn. Okay, so let me go ahead and look at the quests. What quests do we have now? So, Poppy. Lost Child. Spot Remover. Sweden the Competition. The Man Behind. The Battle of the Dead. Okay, so that's like Battle Being 17. So. <clears throat> Let's do that mission just to get it over with. And where is it now? Not false maid. Borrowed. Okay, so it's kind of similar to where I'm going. Eh, but I have to. Pitapon the Ford, I think is how you say it. Pitapon, Pitapon, Pit upon Ford. How do you say it? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Ooh, excuse me. And then I'll go this way. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. What's the point of toiling if it could be done with money? Hey, kitty. Bye, kitty. Don't bother, Jesus Christ.
you're seriously gonna come after me? I'm literally leaving you be. There's no reason for you, for your mischief. No reason at all. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Mogul wolves. The Mongol. Mongol? Spiders. Is this the flipendo again? because I've already gotten that one. Uh, yeah. You think, you have to think I'm an idiot to go that way. I am not. I will not go that way. Hey, centaurs. So. Will not go that way. Spiders. Sup? Ooh. Oh. Sup, Centaurs? <laughs> yeah, I ain't going that way here. These rocks have seen better days. And then 
and up there. Spiders here. I find the rarest beasts in the forest, I do. You're lucky if you find a rat. get an eye on you before you get an eye on me. Ew. Yeah, that's it. That's a big mama. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Nope. <sighs> hey, centaurs. Why can't you kill spiders? That ain't, that ain't fair. Why can't you kill them? Why does it have to be me? Oh, God. That's a giant freaking spider. Oh. Yeah, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Yeah. <laughs> 
you can heal that. I was best until I dead. So you mean to tell me I'm gonna have to go right into spider territory to get these stupid pustules? Stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crancroft. They come after me, they'll run. I didn't always like a polite. This is where Sakarissa said to go. Now, where are those booba tubers? Well, they're probably in this cave. Right where the troll is. Just my luck, a troll. Thank goodness. Are you kidding me? I have to find four more and they're not in this damn cave? Well, they are in this damn cave. Thank God for this cave. They better all be in this damn cave because I'm really not in the mood to be dealing with spiders. Especially over the last two videos. Rebellion. I am just gonna let you all go at it. Avelio. I am looking for Google Tubers. It's you. Cost us out, right? There's two more over here. There's some disgusting things over there. Let's drop a fable, babe! That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. Yep. 
little bit I am. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. All right. So let's go talk to Sakarissa, and then we're gonna go do that mission. Sakarissa, I found the booba tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Yes. Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name. And you will have been a small part of it. A small part of it? Come on, I found you those boot tube but tubas. For our pimply friends, apparently is what you're calling them. So it is, it is, it is, is it not me that should be remembered, not you? Ha. Huh. Not that place again. Mm. Is that Jackdaw? No. I thought for sure that was Jackdaw. But it was not. Okay. I need questions. So... Let's go and... I didn't see that the, the Thestral offspring was ready. So let's go ahead and do that first. God, are you cute? And you're a girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, put in the comments below what I should name the offspring. Thestral off offspring. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Thank 
cutie. Oh my god, and it's actually following Mama. That makes me so freaking happy, you have no idea. Phoenixes? Pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Aww. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. Aww. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. We will be. We will. Let's see how my other beast beasties are doing. Where are my beasties? There you are. Hello, little guy. You all will go. Yep. Everyone's happy in here.
That is the most adorable little thing ever. my broom to get all the way up there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Puppy. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Yes. Highwing is safe with me. Highwing is safe with me. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poacher's best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poacher spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> this way. All right, let's go. And there's the centaurs. They're acting a bit funny, aren't they? <laughs> That one. Why are they acting <gasps> so funny? A centaur! Tread carefully. Yeah, I run into them a lot. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. The dream came true. I actually got stuck <gasps> on the centaur. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind. And the poachers aren't helping matters. I mean, we're but students. why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? 
I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. I mean, they should know I'm good by this point because I keep saving creatures in front of them. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dog that behaves that violently. Hmm. It seems oh. that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost that like there's something so in the water. Sad. Well, you can guarantee I'm gonna stop this. Where are we going, Poppy? This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Well, you can guarantee I'm going to stop this huh? bull. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Because something... Pelts. Poor beasts. They can damn well bet you I'm stop this. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Damn well, bet your butts I'm gonna stop this quick. Revelio. Who do I have to stab? <laughs> this is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Oh no, the work. Oh shoot. I should have done this before the, the trial. Anything interesting? I already know the work in the other. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. Oh, I know. I don't have a good here. feeling about this. I don't either. Well, I think I already know How what's going on. Goblin and poacher interests align. Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. So I was mentioning li live streaming earlier, so maybe I'll go ahead and live stream tomorrow. But we'll see. Uh, perhaps I'll scout around. Why is a mouse around here? Can't say I'm on. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this really discreetly. I'm gonna have to do a bunch of two crystal tablets on those people. Oh. What was that? Oh. Oh. himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. No. 
not going to be good what I see in here. What in Merlin's name? Oh, are those dragons? Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Well, if I am, you know. That's it. I bet it's the word. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. Just don't tell us. And you're done. First, um, oh, blue puppy. Ah, puppy. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Oh, our Ramrock stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind. Come out before I find you. You! What do you think you're doing? must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? <gasps> they must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her it, shall we? Yes. Dragon egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Then we'll bet you I won't. Why won't I run? Alohomora. Thank God I know Alohomora. Because <laughs> this thing ain't. This thing's coming with me. Being a dragon. That'd be cool.
Come here, sweet thing. Come with me. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Oh, Let's make can... them count. Rebellion. Anything else in here? All right. Time to make them. to rescue the dragon. Cool. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. Uh, 
I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot uh... be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. No. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. So We aren't go. helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Yep. So it sounds like this mission, I'm gonna have a dragon. I kinda wanna go back in there and get do more mischief. So, the question is now, let's go back to the remove requirement and see what happens. I suppose let's go ahead and do that mission even though I don't want to. Aha! I can do that. Uh, I really don't want to learn Crucio, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> Please meet me in the seventh floor. Oh. Semi learn transformation spell. After you've completed the retired card task, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we'll discuss your progress thus far in the term. Okay. So, what do we have here? I have an egg. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this egg, but I'm gonna have to do something with it. If I don't, probably gonna eat me. Probably. Probably gonna eat me. Yeah. Probably gonna eat me. Don't eat me! But it's still probably gonna eat me. Um, I can see it happening. Alright, so. We still need to head back to Hogwarts. So let's head to Hogwarts. Oh, right there. Okay. Um, there. Okay, everybody, so um, I'm sure this video is really, really long, so this is where I'm going to end it, and then I will be back to complete this assignment and learn from Professor Weasley where I am at with my term assignments, which is perhaps the book Professor completed. Weasley wants me to get is upstairs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, like if you want to see more of these videos and future videos that I have, please subscribe. Um, thank you so much to all those who have subscribed so far. Um, it really brightens my day when I see, um, when I see how many people actually uh, come to watch my videos, because I'm, I'm brand new at YouTubing, so it's, it's really cool to see how many people um, like my videos and actually come and actually view my videos. So, um, yeah, thank you all so much, and I hope to see you all next time. So I'll see you later in the next video. Bye-bye.